Hi, my name is Nick Braun. In this video series, we're going to talk about how to best map a quantum algorithm to an actual physical quantum computer. Today, we're going to be talking about mapping. Mapping means taking a algorithmic or virtual qubit and mapping a circuit to a physical layout on an existing hardware that typically has a different topology. It consists of two parts. One of them is routing. And the other one is layout. Today, we're going to talk about routing, which is how to take a uh, algorithmic circuit and map it to a physical system with a more limited connectivity. So you're going to take the topology into account. In a separate video, we'll talk about layout, which consists of how to choose the best physical qubits that you can use for your uh, routing that you've got done before. OK, so to give you an example of what this looks like, let's take a 5 qubit circuit. Say so Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. And let's just say we have a Hadamard on Q0. We do a C0 on Q1, a C0 to Q2. C not to Q3, and it looks like we forgot Q4 here, so we'll get him back down here. And so this will create a 5 qubit GHZ state. I'm going to call this an abstract circuit. Because we're going to map this onto, say, a physical type of layout, which looks like this, say. So we've got a qubit up here, a qubit here, one here. Say it looks like a T, like that. Well, we need to get the quantum circuit from this abstract circuit to this physical layout. OK, so you have choices you can make. So say, for example, there's a bunch of CNOTs happening between C0, or Q0. And let's pick one with a better connectivity. So let's drop that Hadamard and call this one Q0 right here. We put the Hadamard on that one. And then we can do a C0 to Q1. We could do a C0 to Q2. We can do a C0 to Q3. But wait, we can't do a C0 to Q4 because we're not physically connected to it. So what we're going to have to do is do a swap operation between 3 and 4, and then do another C0 between 0 and 3. OK. So why is this important? You're just introducing extra gates. This should be fine. Well. Right now, um, each one of these C0s contains about 1% error. Ballpark range on physical hardware. And each one of these swaps is actually very expensive because it consists of three C0s. So in some sense, they're the most costly operation when it comes to error. Because we don't have error correction quite working on our quantum computers yet, this is something we need to be concerned about to produce the best results. So what can we do about that? Well, the Qiskit has something called a transpiler, which does this mapping from, physical, from abstract to physical. And we can get that out of the Qiskit library by importing it. OK. So when we want to do the best job of doing this routing problem, we're going to use the transpile on its highest optimization level, which is actually uh, it's a classically hard problem to perform this uh, optimal mapping. So we use like, actually a stochastic type method called saber swap. And that's activated with transpile uh, transpilation level 3. So if I take my transpile. I take my quantum circuit. Let's say this thing's called QC over here. I'm going to transpile QC. I'm going to set optimization level to 3. And then I need to put in the coupling map, which is how we know which qubits are actually attached to each other on the physical system.
And from here, uh, we should note that this is a stochastic uh, algorithm. So a lot of times, we might want to just do this a bunch of times to our quantum circuit and then take the best result. So we can take our quantum circuit, multiply it by 10, and use that instead. And it's, because it's also stochastic, you might want to keep track of uh, being able to reproduce your results. So you might want to reset your pseudo-algorithmic, so a pseudo-random number generator. And you can do that with uh, seed transpiler equals 13, say. OK, so this will give us a list of transpiled circuits. And then we can look at the ones that have the actual least number of swaps. And we can do that by uh, looking at the counts. So you can get those counts by looking at, say, qct.countops which is a method, and we just care about the swap at this point. And then we do that for each circuit in the transpiled circuits, QCTs. Or at least that's how I like to do it. Once we count these swaps, we can choose the one with the best layout. And it turns out to be that this is a simple enough problem that it's very easy to kind of insert the swap and get a minimum swap of one. But you can't do better than that for this circuit. So we insert the swap here, and now we do a C naught there. So this is our transpiled circuit now that is the most efficient mapping of this algorithmic circuit to the actual physical layout. So in this video, we've talked about routing, which is how we map an abstract circuit most efficiently to a topology. I've been your host, Nick Braun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>